first cause. A show that tells the story of your neighborhood. Meet the people. See the places. Hear the stories. Make up your community on Push Pause. Push Pause. Freezing the frame on local life. Freezing the frame on local life. Freezing the frame on local life. On Push Pause. Welcome to my room. I have what one, two, three, four, five, six shelves of comics in here that are located on the bookshelf. What were you doing at ten? Probably not as much as Carl Sheckel of Montclair, New Jersey. One day at preschool, some kids were talking about Spider-Man, and and that and that seemed really cool to me. And then I came home and I told my dad, who's standing right over there. Um, I like Spider-Man. Spider-Man is my favorite, and that's how we got started. Carl found his love for comics in preschool. Now he has a website, carlscomics.com, and he has turned his success into giving back in a big way. One of my subscribers, they said, it, wouldn't it be cool to donate comic books for a cause? And we thought that that would be a good idea, so... Uh, one of my dad's students contacted a woman named Jennifer Myers who works at, at the VA, Veterans Affairs, and she got us hooked up with donating comics to Veterans Affairs. And then we also got to go to the base and, and, and do all the fun stuff with the donating comics and go, getting to go on the plane and, put, and trying on armor and stuff. Through donations and giving from his own collection, Carl amassed over 3,000 comic books that he gave to our military overseas. This is um, some of the comics donated by Jeff, and he gave us most of the comics that we have. He gave us 5,000 comics. Oh, it's been insane. I, you know, I, I, I posted it online to a, a comic book forum, and somebody there said, oh, you should post it to this other forum. They'd like it, too. A few hours later, my entire server <laughs> crashed. Uh, he I, was up until five in the morning trying to fix it. That's true, and it was and it was insane. We were getting thirteen thousand hits a minute, every minute for seven hours. Carl's not done either. He's already collected over five thousand for the next donation. I think he has he is off to a great start. I I, I think that the reason he's gotten the success that he has is because of the adults that have helped him. Uh, you know, he, he'll mention in a heartbeat, um, you know, Michael Williams, who's a teacher in Newark, who gave us several thousand uh, for the last donation, or Jeff Beck of Eastside Mags, who gave us uh, a total of 5,000 for this time. When Carl went to the military base to drop off the comics the first time, several high-ranking base officials surprised Carl with a VIP tour. Carl said he and his father tried on military gear, visited several sites on the base, and sat in military planes. Yeah, so soldiers need like a piece of home because if they have kids, they'll get to miss them a lot. So I just thought it would be good to give them um, a piece of something that they're missing, that they're sad about, and to, just to try to make them happy again. Shekel lives within walking distance of Eastside Mags, a comic book store on South Fullerton Avenue, which he visits two to three times a week. Jeff Beck, owner of Eastside Mags, has donated thousands of comic books to Operation Carl. I think it's going to mean a lot. I mean, I think it's, you know, for someone who's been overseas for whether it's months or years to get a little taste of home, a little taste of, uh, you know, American pop culture and be able to read a Batman comic or a Superman comic or a Spider-Man comic, I think that that means a lot to them. Probably maybe not as much as a letter from home, but, you know, it's still something to kind of normalize the experience of being overseas in a foreign country fighting a war. Besides Spider-Man, some of his favorite comics are The Flash, Batman, R.L. Stein's Man Thing, and Calvin and Hobbes. The one that's really interesting is The Silver Knight because I actually interviewed the person who drew it. He's the, the boy who stands in front of a community of truly good people, and that really makes my heart swell. For more information on donating, please go to carlscomics.com or you could drop your comics off at Eastside Mags. For my second donation, I'm planning on trying to get over 
10,000 and I already have over 8,000. And I'm gonna donate them, Jennifer is trying to donate them to um, a really huge hospital. And we're also gonna try to donate them to the um, children, the children of deployed troops.